college, my escape from rush hour traffic, moving non-stop and all the time. Being swept up in a planned out future, I left to keep my life in my own hands. My escape from all the eyes that thought they knew me. From my reputation, I ran away from the same old thing. New me, new coast, new day. The hell with safety and comfort. I ran away from it all. I needed to leave. I had to leave. To live and learn more about myself. I wanted to be in control for once. To tear down the walls of my comfort zone and be sure that my actions were the direct result of my own decisions. I needed to get out. I needed to do this for me. Brown was my escape. To find my place, to leave the rejection of being neither black nor white, to travel in between these two worlds, and to arrive at what I am, where I truly belong. I am Brown. Brown was my way of stepping out into my own. Independence stood for a single opportunity in which I could become my own individual. I was capable of everything. 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 My potential is limitless, so you can set your expectations, but I'll surpass them and leave you wondering why your expectations were so low. Keep on thinking how you're thinking. Just don't think I'll pay you any money. I have too much writing on this. I have waited too damn long to be with our dogma and stereotypes and rules governed by hypocrisy and a lack of common sense. This is me choosing me. This is me choosing me. This is me choosing me. At least I thought so. False visions of power. Misconceptions of completeness. My vanity must seem ridiculous. I end up a slave to my own choices. Because I'm stuck with these decisions. Freedom is hard fought, but little utilized and even less understood. Numbers on the clock mean nothing. As we grow older, time binds us. Appointments, due dates, meetings. Sometimes it feels like too much, too much to grasp. There's no time to breathe, and yet here I am, breathing short breaths, catching my breath, trying not to run out of time. I never feel done. I'm already behind. The people, the I places, the expectations to meet the opportunities to fail. I never feel done. I'm already behind. The people, the places, the expectations to meet the opportunities to fail. Am I grown up already? When does this transformation come? Isn't today the future I anticipated four years ago? Am I strong enough to do this on my own? I cherish this title of strong, independent woman, but I would be lying if I was to say that I was done growing up. That I didn't need anyone. That I didn't need you. You, who carried my weight for nine months. In fact, you still carry it today. Watch me smile, laugh, cry. Fail and succeed. You made me the center of your world. But sometimes your pressure weighs me down. Two ends to every spectrum wrap around the universe. Bend back space and time and meet my mother. I mistake her strength for weakness, her unending patience for meekness. Ignorance is her unconditional love, unconditionally bound to us as we step and push her down. Look down upon for her inarticulate expressions. We give expressions of annoyance as we ignore her ignorance for our generation, our culture, our language. Yet unconditionally, she stays. <coughs> While under any of these conditions, I would not last a day. And I was the one who left, called my ascendance independence, so-called autonomy, stepping on my own to step into mine leaving her brown feet to shuffle shackled to the creaking kitchen floorboards. I take all that she has to offer and more. Moreover, she takes it again and again and again. Yet brown-hearted, she stays strong. Faith fixes her like a moth drawn to a light that simply burns and blinds. It's that motherfucking unconditional love. And that mother-loving part of me, deep down inside, aches because I would never be where I am today. And still I treated her that way. Now I see you standing five foot three in all your glory with your brown skin, more than skin deep, keeps your values tight to you. In the summer, I am one degree closer, closer now to saying, I'm sorry, I respect you. I'm Palangakkoli Ma, Mahakita. I love you, Mom. I'll never be too old to say. I am on my own, but I am never fully without you. You remain that guiding force, invisible but truly there, a constant presence. I learned to be strong from you, so I learned from the best. Where do you think this voice, this snarl, has lighted my eyes?
guys. Where do you think these came from? It's undeniable, your mark, Captain Montgomery. Strong arms. To unfold children and make them always be safe and loved. Strong will. <coughs> to stay calm even when I am yelling at her. Strength enough to come to this country with little money and big dreams. Strength enough to pass plenty of hers onto me so that I might follow her path of love and afford my own. And for that, I only wish that I could be half the woman you are. Strength doesn't have to encompass being alone. Part of being independent is choosing to be with people and choosing to ask for help. In some ways, a person can never truly be independent of another person. Let me find my destination alone. Let me pave that path. But you are welcome to.